I'm going to quickly show you how to import a CAD hatch into Revit. So this may be a, a PAT file that you brought in from AutoCAD or downloaded from a website like cadhatch.com. But either way, we're going to give this wall a brick texture. So what we're going to do first is under the Manage tab, we're going to go to Additional Settings and find Fill Patterns. Then we're going to go to New Fill Pattern, and then we're going to set this to Custom, and that's going to let us browse for a custom pattern. Again, a PAT file that we've downloaded. I'm going to add this Stacked Brick pattern. Hit Open. You may have to adjust the scale, so I'm going to set this to 0 0.05, and you'll see a preview of it here, and then hit OK. You can change the name. We'll say Stacked Brick, OK, then OK. Then if we want this wall to show up with that hatch pattern. I can select it, edit type, and then under structure I can edit that, and under my material um, I can click on this, set the material under graphics foreground. I click on this and I'm going to set this to the brick uh, stacked that I just loaded. Then I hit OK. OK. This was a preview. I can turn that off. And then hit OK. And you'll see that there's a pattern to this wall now. Additionally, you can add um, a, under annotate you can set a fill region to also show up as, as this pattern. So I can click on region and draw any region. Let's say I have a brick wall. I can set that I'm going to have to load it it looks like So I'm going to set this to my stacked brick for my foreground fill pattern. And actually, let's duplicate first. Always edit type, duplicate. We'll say stacked brick. This will be the fill region that it uses. And then I'm going to find my stacked brick here and hit OK, and OK. And you'll see that now this fill region has a stacked brick pattern to it. All right, so to modify this, you can click on it and change this to any other pattern that you have loaded. All right, thanks.